Thank you for joining us for another session of uh, Catskill Tube Flies. Today we're going to uh, create what I call the uh, Lion Caddis. And to start off, I want to show you how we prepare uh, the tube. It's a tube fly. We're using a, uh, a micro HMH tube, a uh, clear tube. And what I normally do is I don't use a uh, hook tube, which normally would go onto the back of the uh, primary tube, and that's what your hook would go into. Um, I think it creates a lot of bulk, and I don't think it looks very nice. So I'm going to show you how I prepare the uh, tube before we get started here. I go ahead and I take the tube and I take a scratch awl and I will heat the scratch awl get it nice and hot and then I'm going to take the uh, tube and I'm going to uh, press that in Okay. I'm going to wait until it cools off a little bit. And then I'm going to pull that out. Now, what you're left with is a uh, an area of the tube that is widened, okay? Now, what I do is uh, this Particular fly is uh, calls for a 14 inch, uh, 14 size 14 uh, tube hook, and you'll see that that slides into that um, area very well, and I don't need any other um, tube hook to go on that. Okay, so I'm going to pull that out, and now we're going to we're getting ready to uh, start. I'll go ahead and I'll slide this on. To my uh, slide this on to my uh, vise. Okay, and ready to go. Uh, now to start with, I'm going to uh, use some black uni pre-waxed. 6-0 thread and um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start my dressing of the uh, tube snip off the excess and now I'm ready to uh, Dress my uh, tube. Now I put in a half hitch knot at the back. It keeps it nice and tight, keeps it from uh, sliding off. And now I'm taking some uh, some wool, some gray wool, and um, I'm going to take some wax. And I'm going to uh, drag the wool right over the wax on both sides. And the reason why I pre-wax the wool, first to keep it waterproof, and it makes it a lot easier to, to handle. Okay, so I'll bring this back in. I'll go ahead and tie this on to my tube my thread and I'll advance my thread to the to the front of the tube I'm going to tie that on with a double half hitch knot pull it tight and I'm going to pull my thread out of the way and now I'm going to wrap my uh, wool onto the tube.
wrap that around my uh, my thread a couple of times. Now I'm ready to uh, cut off the wool. Go ahead and tidy that up a little bit. Put in a couple of half hitches. Pull it tight. Now I'm going to take some uh, wood duck feathers and I'm going to uh, pull off the fluff. Set that aside. And I'm going to uh, take this and lay it on top of the uh, on top of the tube to get an idea of the uh, how long I want this. I need to shorten that up a little bit more so I'm going to pull off some more of the feather and uh, that's just about right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back and take my wax and I'm going to uh, drag the feather over the wax on the bat on the side on the top side I'm going to use a few feathers in the application today so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull off more of the fluff and some of the feathers and now I want to uh, compare this to uh, the one I just made I want to make sure I have the right um, the right length, that's good. Now I need to uh, go ahead and drag that over the uh, the wax. And I have one more uh, feather. I'm going to pull off the fluff and some of the uh, barbules Get a quick measure on that and now I'm ready to uh, go ahead and drag that across the, the wax and now I'm going to lay the uh, I'm going to take two of the feathers and put them together and I'm going to take the third one and I'm going to lay that on and uh, I'm just going to offset it a little bit so you get a pretty wide uh, amount of feathers here And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, lay that down on top of the tube. Make sure that you keep those on centered on top of the tube. Now I'm ready to cut off the stems and tidy up. the area now you have also an area where you cut off those stems and you gotta make sure that uh, you tidy that up real nice I'm gonna turn this around I wanna make sure that I've got this evenly laid out next thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyes on uh, now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put on the uh, hackle. Sorry. I need to trim that up. I need to find out where the, the heavy part of the uh, hackle is. So I cut that off. Pull out some of the barbules. Now I'm going to uh, 
go ahead and cut that off a little bit at the bottom into what I call a brush this area here which will hold on to the uh, hold on to the uh, tube nice and and firmly bring my thread back towards the front one more time down I'm gonna go ahead and double half hitch put a double half inch knot in there snug it down pull off my thread to the side and now I'm going to uh, take my hackle and I'll put my hackle pliers on and I'm going to go ahead and introduce the uh, the hackle to the tube now I'm going to spin the hackle uh, around my thread pull that back tie it up nice and tight double half hitch on tie that nice and tight and now I'm ready to introduce my eyes to the uh, to the fly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that down. Get that centered. Reach in and get another one. And I'm going to turn my fly and I'm going to center that up pinch that down okay now I'm going to take um, let's see. I'm going to take my zappa gap Take the top off, and I'm going to uh, put a just a drop all the way around. And I'm going to turn that, make it nice and even. take a little bit of a paper towel here and I'm just going to uh, dab that on there for any excess that I may have. I'm going to allow that to set up. a little air on there to see if I can get it to dry. It's pretty good. Now I'm going to take my Loon's Clear Fly Finish UV Resin and I'm going to take a uh, paintbrush, small paintbrush, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dab that on. more and put it on the bottom more on the top 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my torch and I'm going to uh, set that. pretty good. Okay, and now I'm going to take my whip finish and I'm going to put a whip finish on the head. Pull that tight. Cut off the thread. Not exactly uh, set up yet, so I'm going to pull that back and Now I'm going to take uh, some more of my uh, UV resin and I'm going to uh, build up the head. Okay, I'm going to turn this over and apply some more on the bottom. Some on the top, over the eyes. Okay, I'm going to take off the excess from my brush. ahead and I'm going to uh, dry this up again. Take the top and put it on my Bloons UV resin. I don't think I need any more. That is pretty dry. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, head hard fly finish pearl. It's called pearlescent red. It's uh, this stuff is really really nice. It um, has like little specks in there, little red and silver specks, and uh, it gives the head of the 
the fly a really, really nice pearlescent uh, finish. And I go ahead and I'm going to coat the head with it. Okay, still a little bit uh, wet, but I'm going to allow that just to dry on its own. And now I'm going to take the fly off of the, uh, the tube. And as you can see, by looking at it, we have the bottom is open. We need to really pull that closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, resin. I'm going to take a little dab on my fingertip. And I'm going to put that on both sides of the, of the uh, tail feather. take my uh, torch and I'm going to set that Now you can see the bottom, it's completely uh, covered. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to take the hook and before I uh, put the hook in, all the hooks come with a uh, little barb and I'm going to take my pliers my needle nose pliers and I'm just going to uh, bend down the barb and basically what this does is it protects the uh, fish um, it doesn't allow the fish to uh, to get hurt by the uh, by the barbule by the uh, barb in there and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set the hook now for purposes of showing you uh, how it looks I'm just going to put on a little clamp here pull that back and there is my There's my uh, caddis, my lion caddis, and we call it a lion caddis basically because of the uh, the hackle, the way the hackle is uh, brought out around the head. 
I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. Again, this is the uh, this is what the bottom looks like. It's completely covered. This really fishes very well. When it goes through the water, it has a motion where it goes back and forth. It's a very, very good fly. I've used it many, many times on my fishing trips. And uh, I'm sure you'll love this fly. Give it a try. If you have any questions, uh, ask me your questions in the comment box on the video. Uh, thank you very much, and I look forward to uh, seeing you on our next video.